Hello, I'm Jordan Pin, and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where of course in the last episode we managed to get some more tree spreaders and seed spreaders down, the flower ones, uh, down in that desert. I think we're going to do that in a minute because I've got a load of stuff on me. In between the episodes I have done a bit of grinding and as you can tell from my inventory I've made a load of fertilizer. I've also hit up a lot of the extractors. I don't think I went over to the uranium one or the super alloy one. Uh, but I collected everything out of them, brought them back, and was able to make quite a bit of super alloy uh, from the various, you know, the iron and all that sort of stuff, cobalt, etc., that was left over. I was able to make quite a bit of super alloy, and then I've been making a bunch of fertilizer as well, picking the algae and turning that into bacteria samples, because we're not too far off getting that, where are we, oxygen, the tree spreader tier 2. I was going to put some more tree spreaders down, but it's like, I think we're going to wait we're going to get the tier 2 tree spreader soon so let's get that done and um the gti score is now on nine i can't remember what it was when you guys left i think it was like four or something so it's gone up quite a decent amount i've also hit some of those uh, outposts around about not all of them but i've hit some of them uh ooh, hydration level low let's go and quickly grab a drink there we go let's grab another one actually and i'm going to come out here i kind of want to turn this um this desert into kind of a green oasis you know using these machines obviously you can't turn it totally green but um, you know I'd like to do that and then also planting these things further away it's just going to reduce the lag at the base um, you know uh, my computer is not a beast it's not exactly a slow poke but it's not a beast at the same time either I'm planning on building a better computer I'm kind of in the process I've mentioned I think a few times I'm in the process of getting some things together and hopefully I can do that this month or next month just help me out with the video production and streaming and all that stuff because uh, you know it adds extra load when you start streaming or recording or anything like that you know adds a bit of extra load to the computer so uh, just uh, just want to try and update update that a little bit so let's get this down um, and then yeah just be kind of nice uh, different focal point as well when we're going about the place isn't it really uh, you know just kind of looks cool as you're going about there's a bit more greenery around I think that's why not let's do that um, so let's get I think I've got enough for five so let's get that one there I'm gonna put all these trees these are the best seeds I've got I think so we're gonna go with that and then uh, someone in the comments actually I think it was Inuvik Inuvix. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce your name, but thank you for the comment. Uh, he basically, they basically said uh, you can just fire those rockets off pretty much fast as you like. It doesn't really matter, so you can just spam them out. Uh, you can build the rocket, fire it off, build the next rocket, fire it off, and so on, and you know, get them out pretty quick. Um, so we'll start doing that in a minute as well, and try and get these uh, scores boosted. I would quite like to try. I don't know if we can do that. I'd try like quite like to double that GTI score to like 18 or something. This episode would be nice. I don't think we're going to do that. I'm just kind of trying to find a different spot for this flower spreader. There we go. Really kind of get this crank in now. And then we should have enough for one more. I've got enough for like five of these in my inventory. So uh, let's come back. Let's put this over here somewhere, shall we? Yeah, let's put it around here somewhere. There we go. Just cuts down a bit of the lag as well at the base. Not all lagging too bad, but you know. Um, so let's get back. And then I was going to do some tree spreaders, but as I say, I don't think it's worth it. We're going to get the uh, tree spreader. We're going to get the tier 2 one pretty soon. And I think we'll launch some oxygen rockets as well. Because um, I noticed the score when I was editing it, the parts per quintillion, is it? I think it is. Anyway. Um, that was like 300,000, 400,000, and then later on in the video, it's like seven, it's like almost 800,000 now. So, um, yeah, that really multiplied that massively. And then we need to get some heaters down and all that stuff. And actually, no, before we do that, I wonder what the power situation is like, actually, because we're probably getting close. Yeah, we've got 100 kilowatts left. Okay. Um,. I guess the fusion reactor is what we're going to go for at the moment. We can always take it down and uh, rebuild it because I think, I think I've got some of these anyway. Have I got any more anywhere else? I feel like I had more than that. They're probably in some of the other bases. I'll say I brought some of this stuff back, but I didn't bring it all back. Yeah, there we go. I thought I had more. Uh, we've got a ton of rocket engines as well. So what do we need to build that? We need those. And was it super alloy? Yeah, it was just super alloy as well. Okay. That's perfect. We get one of those down. That's going to get us a load more power because um, we're at a 
100 kilowatts as well and also we need to fire off the GT the GTI uh, the GPS rocket as well I've put, put this screen down and then I've not looked at it either and I've not fired the rocket off I really need to do that um, just for the you know why not type thing uh, oh yeah this was like really small wasn't it let's get can we get that one next to it maybe no okay um, about over here somewhere Come on. There we go. That's going to sort the power situation out because I'm throwing a load of this thing down. I didn't actually think about that till I went out there. Uh, yeah, these, uh, to be honest, these tier one food growers, I'm kind of happy with. Unless you're standing here watching it actually grow, I don't really see the need of these tier twos. I mean, I might, I might put them down anyway because, you know, I'll be swimming in resources at some point, but I kind of just think a crap load of these would, would do it, in my opinion. But I don't know. Uh, probably wrong on that one. Right, so let's start working on rockets. Uh, let's grab a bunch of rocket motors. There we go. I've got a bunch of those already, so we may as well use them. I can't remember where I've put them all. Uh, there's probably more out in the... Uh, yeah, let's grab five. I can't remember what we need. Well, we need super alloy. We need that. Uh, we needed a tree bark for the oxygen one. Grab a couple of those tree barks as well. Grab some more super alloy. I can't remember what we need. And then didn't we need the mutagen stuff? I think we needed that right. So let's grab those. Grab those. We'll go and grab some more methane as well. Why not? Um, and then we need to do a bit of building as well. I've not done any building for a while. I've noticed that, yeah, this is still floating. So I need to st still need to put the supports down here as well. Um, let's grab all of that out of there. And then was it sulfur? To make that, can't remember now. The sulfur, right? Bacteria, methane, and sulfur. Was that to make the the mutagen stuff thing? I'm sure, that was it. Yeah, it was. There we go. That's cool. Ah, okay. We're at bacteria samples. We've also probably got a tree seed ready to go as well. Yes, we do. So I want to start getting those out. But for the moment, that's okay. Make a bunch of those. It was that, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's, let's go actually let's go actually and have a look at what the, what we need for the rocket because yeah I can't remember it was super alloy a motor mutagen I think it was tree bark was that it I feel like there was something else and I can't remember what it was now don't write this stuff down I think um, bacteria sample that's fine uh, I need to also launch this as well uh, the tier two well, do, do I can I just launch the tier two straight away without having launched the tier one I don't know. We'll do that at some point because I've got a screen and I'm not using it and I keep forgetting to do it. Uh, let's go and just grab some bacteria samples as well. We'll launch a couple of those rockets off. There we go. Right, that should be good. Should be good to go now. And then, yeah, we'll replace some of these drills as well. I say I might dot them about the place as well. I kind of like them close by, but I might dot them around the place. We'll see. Okay, right, let's get the first rocket launched. So I just had to sneeze then, so I just have to quickly pause the video. Um, there we go, that's good. Let's fire that one off. And I'll say, I think you can launch them straight away pretty well much, but I'm gonna let it clear the pad and go up into space. I feel like that's that's kind of cool, I, you know, but I believe we can just kind of launch one and then launch another one and then launch another one straight afterwards and just keep launching them like that, I think, as I understand it. Uh, let's see, let's go and have a look at the score now. And then does the, does the multiplier, is it was around 800,000? Does the multiplier just instantly equip? I think it does, according to someone. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. 1.3 million. Holy moly. Damn. Yeah, that was like around 800,000. It wasn't quite there, but it was almost there. Uh, but yeah, damn. So if we just keep firing these off. Uh... Will it just rain seeds for ages? Fire another one off. And then, do we have... Maybe we might have another one. I think we've got enough for one more, right? Yeah. Ah, damn, I need the bacteria sample. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll just fire the rockets off. After that, we could just probably fire the cheapest one, which would be, like, the pressure or the heat or something, wouldn't it? Because... Yeah, is it? Yeah, look at that. One point six now. It's gone up to 
uh, yeah, it keeps going up. It was like 1.3 million, at, you know, and now it's 1.6 million. So yeah, that's going to unlock pretty quickly. We need one more part per million. It's 7.5 and we're at 6.5. So yeah, it's going up pretty quickly. That's good. Uh, we get some more flower spreaders down. And what do we need? A bacteria sample. There we go. Let's do that again. Have I got everything else? Yeah, I think I have. Let's get that really going, shall we? And then I'm going to go and put some more flower spreaders around, I think. Just get those going as best as they can. Uh, we could put some more tree spreaders around. I'll say the trees are kind of... You know, we're going to get a tier 2 at some point. I don't see the point of wasting the res... I guess it's not a waste of resources, though, is it? Because we could just take it down and put the tier 2 in. Launch that one again. Really get that multiplier going. So yeah, I'd, say I'd like to get to 18 GTI in this episode, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, if we get to 15, that'd be great. Because um, we've got to get to 576. Hmm. Yeah, they might want to cut down on the grind a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really enjoying it, but yeah. Might put a few people off. I'm not too sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah. I don't, you know, I don't mind a grind. I love farm sim, so, <laughs> you know, that can be very grindy, but, um, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's grab all that anyway. That's good. I guess we could take all this stuff as well, couldn't we? These things fill up so fast. And then we'll come down here and grab some more algae. So, yeah, I just basically went out, came out here, collected all the stuff. And then went out to one of those places, picked, collected up the ore extracted stuff. And then if there was a base nearby and I had any room left, I went and collected some things out of there. And I just rinsed and repeated that like uh, for about an hour or something last night. So it's like my Sunday night was spent doing that pretty well much after I'd watched the Formula One, of course. <laughs> uh, which was uh, which was okay. Uh, there we go. Ah, we're full. And then I just kind of collected up all this and then... By the time I'd been back to the, you know, been back, collected all the other stuff from another extractor, come back here, most of this stuff had grown and refilled itself again, and so I could just kind of rinse and repeat doing that. That's kind of what I was doing. I'm just going to tell this in the bacteria samples, I think. It's probably just the easiest way to store it, and then we can always recycle it. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Just me a couple of bacteria samples, because the water is starting to fill up. That's okay. Actually, this algae is starting to fill up as well, isn't it? Okay, interesting. Um, hmm. All right. Let's take some of those out. And we'll turn some more of those into bacteria samples. Easier way to store it as well. Uh, plastic as well. We need more mushrooms. Uh, that's something else that we need. Uh, let's throw those in there. So how are we doing? How are we doing with the oxygen? It's getting there, it's getting there, but I think I'm just going to fire off a load of oxygen rockets and keep firing them. Although, hmm, do you know what? I'm going to go out and put more flower spreaders around first to kind of buff up that number, I think. Because those do that, and then obviously if you put the times 400% in it, that's going to be doing, what, 12, 1300 a second? Get a bunch of those down. Um, that might be better than, is that, that can't be better than a tree spreader, surely. Oh, that does biomass as well. Oh, interesting. Oh, that does biomass as well. Oh, okay, I never actually noticed that. It does biomass as well. Interesting. Um, yeah, so that's most of my super alloy gone, but there we go. Yeah, I'm going to go and put some more of those down, I think, first. And then we'll just keep launching the rockets again. Come back, we'll do some more rocket launches, but I just kind of want to put some more of those down. Uh, yeah, let's just put some of those down this time. I'm running out of these better flowers anyway, so... We could put the tree... Let's go and put a tree down. Why not? Uh, what was it? It was... No, sorry, that's explosives. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. We want a bacteria sample. We want, uh, we want one of these trees. Go with that one. We've got two of those. And we want some plastic. And I think that was it, right? tree bark that was it yeah oh we might need to go and grab some tree bark oh no we've got tree bark that's fine grab some more of that i think that's everything and then we just need some flowers to actually put in these things 
Uh, I don't want to use too many more of those, although I think if I'm making tree samples, I think I'm going to use these because they only do 150% multiplier, and I think that's probably a better way to go. Uh, whereas these do like 400%, so we could use those again. Uh, do we use, do we make that one? Because we can use that for a tree sample, can't we? Uh, we'll do that in a minute. That should be plenty. Right, let's go back out there. I think I've got everything. Hopefully I have. Oh well. Whatever. And then we'll hit the uh, super alloy extractor on the way back. I think that's a good idea. I'll hit that um, over there also. And, uh, you know, just get that as well. Uh, we got the uh, secret room out there as well, I think. So, uh, unless there's another one in there, let me know if there is. But I don't think there is. But um, if there is, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll put another tree spreader down. Why not? We could always take them apart and put the more efficient ones down, which is probably wiser, I would have thought. Um, you know, if you've got your tree seeds, you want to put them in the best one, don't you, really? So, I think the same with the flower spreaders, actually. Do you know what? I probably should be taking the other ones down from the base and replacing the tier 2 or the standard ones that I've got with the better ones. Ooh, that, I wonder, can we get water? Ooh, there's water there. Can we put... Ooh, yeah, we can. Let's put the tree spreader there. There we go. I like that. That's a good one. There we go. And then will that incorporate in there? Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. Kind of like the look of that. Right, let's drop. And I'll drop a but Oh, bollocks. I've got no water. Son of a biscuit. Everyone was probably yelling at me at the, in the uh, chat. Oh, chat. In the comments, but never mind. Hang on. And through the power of editing, here I am back with all the materials, so you guys don't have to sit through that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm sure people were telling me about that one. There we go. Tier 2 tree spreader. Fantastic. That is what we wanted. We're going to get that down next as well. I'm just kind of having to explore. Oh, no, I wanted to know where that flower is as well. There's still one flower in the tree recipes in the DNA um, manipulator that I haven't found yet. And I'm going to assume it's on the surface. Uh, let's just chuck those in there. I've only got enough for four, but that's okay. So we've got everything sorted. So I'm kind of leaning towards leaning, just firing off like the pressure rockets now. Because at the moment, there's no more unlocks for... Oh, wow, that requires zealite. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we could take those down. Oh, that doesn't require the bioplastic. Anyway, never mind. Get sidetracked again. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's like, ooh, shiny. Oh, there's something new and it's shiny. I want it. Uh, but yeah, there's got to be a plant somewhere around that we've not found. Uh, but there we go, that's great. I don't, th I think 18 on the uh, GTI score is going to be a bit optimistic, but you know, I'm ever the optimist, so hopefully, hopefully we can get there. But I doubt it today. Uh, but the more we get down, I'd say the rocket to just launch and do like the pressure and the heat, I think was cheaper, wasn't it? Didn't require like mutagen and things like that. Um, so I'll have to look at the cost of everything, and those are probably the ones we're going to want to fire off because it's just a kind of cumulative score. Although I guess the biggest biggest score that I've got is the um, oh crap, I'm out of almost out of oxygen. Uh, the uh, biggest multiplier that I've got now is on the oxygen, so I guess continuing with that might be the way to go. Hmm. And yeah, as I say, I've still got stuff here as well. Let's grab some of that. Yeah, well, it's like I've started to move it, but there's just so much stuff here. Uh, we'll take the mushrooms with us, though. Yeah, I've got loads of the other stuff, but yeah, we'll come back for that later. Um, I say I'll probably do the hauling off camera or something in between the episodes or something, but um, yeah. Uh, I was like, there is one flower left that we have not found, and I don't know where that is. Uh, but hopefully we'll find it eventually. I don't know where it's going to be, but anyway, let's come over to here somewhere. And we'll fight. We'll see what the uh, super alloy has produced. Uh, I'll say I didn't hit this one up, so I don't know. So I'll have a quick just mosey over here quickly and just see. You never know. Might... Ooh, is that a... Ooh, hello. Hello. There's a satellite. Can we access that? Yes, we can. <gasps> cool. I'll take that. There we go. Sweet. So there is stuff out here. Right over here. Where there's materials, I'm going to get... Yeah, there's still a new... It's like a new valley. There's still materials on the ground. So this... Yeah, this is a new area to explore. 
Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a box. Yeah, we'll come over here in a minute. Let's, st let's stay focused for the moment. I'll try and do that. That's an extremely difficult thing for me to do. But, yeah, we've not been over here. That wasn't there in the prologue. That was just um, empty. Uh, but, yeah, let's go there. We'll, we'll check that out in a minute. But let's check. Let's continue with the super alloy. And I want to do some more rocket launches first. Um, and then maybe we'll check that out this episode. I might do it next episode. We'll see. Uh, it's coming here. There's still stuff in here. Yes, there is. There's not too much left, though. That's fine. And then we'll come up here. Oh, boy. That's pretty dud, but... There we go. Um, do you know what? I'm going to drop the seeds off. Let's empty some of these things off. We don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, I, don't, I think I need those, actually, for the tier twos. We don't need that. Uh, we're going to try and take as much of that stuff back as we can. I'm going to drop those as well. And just see if we can take some of the super alloy back with us. As I say, I can then turn a lot of this stuff into super alloy straight away when I get back as well. So I kind of did that. Uh, I had a bit more space in my inventory, obviously. But um, yeah, I kind of came over and then just took everything back and turned what excess materials into super alloy. And then just stored the other bits, came, went to the next one and just rinsed and repeated. And before you know it, I had a box full of super alloy. And before you know it, I've used up a whole box full of super alloy. So, uh, yeah, you know. But, uh, yeah, we'll go over there. Maybe next episode we'll see how, that, see how we go this episode. I want to do some more rocket launches now. Um, as I say, I, I guess the one to multiply is probably going to be the oxygen. Because that's given us the biggest... Uh, we've got the biggest number on that one, haven't we? But at the same time, the others are pretty cheap. Uh, we need to get some more drills down and stuff as well. Uh, get some more drills down, get some more um, heaters down. I think that's probably the next thing. I'll just try and really rapidly expand as much as we can. And then, the, obviously, the rocket launches are going to be crucial as well. Uh, but, yeah, I want to get some more of these drills down, I think, first. Um, and some more of these heaters down. And then we'll try and sort out this... Uh, I say, I quite like a hill somewhere that has uh, like loads of solar panels and stuff on it. Um, just you know for extra just for the kind of looks when we're out there really rather than the practicality or anything like that but it just I think it just kind of kind of look cool um, so let's go there okay we only did one but that's fine that's a start and then let's drop all of that in there like so we will drop some of that in there I'll grab one of those as well why not put that in there and then I've got I think it was in the fabric because we're not really using the fabric so let's go there and then uh, the other thing as well let's manipulate some DNA because uh, that is the one that we haven't actually have we made that one that requires that pink flower that we picked and then it's this one here this volness plant I've not found that yet so I've found plant quite a lot of these pink ones but I've not found that I'm hoping we might find it over where we just were maybe hmm yeah, we might find that. Anyway, let's grab a bacteria sample. Uh, let's grab some of that. Let's grab some of that. And then we need some tree bark. And we need one of those pink flowers as well. So it's going to give us the biggest boost. Uh, so we actually need to make the mutagen first. And then we'll set this sequencing off. Like so. There we go, and get that going as well. That's going to give us the biggest buff. And then before we do that, we might as well put one of these down. We'll put a tree spreader down somewhere as well. Uh, so what do we need for that new tree spreader? So we've got the tier 2 fertilizer. So the squash, I think it's the squash, isn't it? That's going to be really important now. I mean, it's important anyway, but, you know. Uh, bacteria sample, and was it super alloy? Yeah, super alloy, of course. And then it requires super alloy. Um, what are we missing out of here? Some iron. A couple of hits of iron. And then if we get some more... No, titanium's fine. If we get a couple of... No, silicon. It's, cobalt's okay. It's just magnesium, I think. Get like three magnesium and then we can... Ooh, hello. Ooh, have we got like a osmium storm? I think we might have an osmium storm coming in. Uh, titanium. Okay, yeah, we've got another storm coming in as well. Okay. Drop all this off. Just going to chuck that in there. Or break it. 
Yeah, we'll let the... Uh, I think this one is the Osmium, right? Because it's just... Yeah. Ooh, that looks like it's kind of a direct... Coming right in for me, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll try and find some of that in a minute. Uh, I need some food as well. Pick that. Eat that. Replace it. There we go. That's good. So, we have enough for the tree spreader, right? Yes, we do. That's perfect. And then we'll have a look at the... Uh, we'll have a look at the... Um, uh, what we need for the next rocket as well. I'm, I might fire like a the uranium one off or something like that. Right, let's put this over here somewhere. Just out of the way again, just kind of thinking of lag more than anything. So where should we put that? Around here? It's kind of open spot somewhere. Um, there's a lot of rocks around here though, isn't there? But how, how big is the range? Oh boy, yeah, perhaps standing here looking. That's uh, not, that's uh, pretty small actually. Is that the same? Yeah, it's pretty small. Fair enough. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not tiny, but it's not massive at the same time. Let's go there, and then we'll put... Nope, come on. Put that in there, like so. There we go. So that... It's given us 1950. Holy moly. Okay, so with that, with that extra in now, it's what, 2500 or something? Something like that? Um, I kind of want to go and get those, but I think it's easier just to let the rocks disappear first because, yeah, they're a little bit difficult to find with the rocks down. But, wow. Okay. Direct central. We just got a ton of impacts on these things. And then, yeah, it's some of these, uh, like some of these ones that are just the tier 2s, we should probably replace those as well with the tier 3s. So we get some of the materials back. We should probably do that. Because you've got 161, I suppose 325, and obviously with a map multiplier on it on top of that, it's you know it's a big deal, isn't it? So I think swapping those out is probably a good idea as well. Uh, let's get some heaters down next, because I haven't actually found a spot for the heaters to go. Quite like a little heater spot somewhere. Um, so what do we need for those? We need just a bunch of explosive powder, super alloy again, of course. Uh, explosive powder, there we go. Got some more of that somewhere as well. Where is that? Um, did I use it all? I uh, might have used it all. Yeah, I think I used it all. It's a bit of a mess in here as well. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some uh, sorting and that sort of thing as well. Hmm. Okay, we've only got one. Well, we need some iridium rods. That's for certain. So, what do we need for that? We needed a bunch of super alloy, explosive powder. What was explosive powder? It was sulfur a couple of sulfurs and iridiums right or was it a couple of iridium and sulfurs I can't remember now something like that let's go and make it I think I've got a bunch of that somewhere but yeah it's getting a bit messy in there so I'm going to have to do some sorting at some point I'll have to sort out the food this food area and move it I think it's kind of where I want to put my store additional storage so, but yeah, let's get, uh, let's grab some iron as well. We'll put some platforms down somewhere. There we go. So they're just kind of chucked on the ground at the moment. Um, not my little platform with heaters somewhere. Hmm, maybe out here. Can we attach onto that? I can't remember whether I tried this or not. Does that fit or not? Uh, I don't think it fits, does it? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's put like a little platform with heaters or something out here. Why not? Let's go there. Let's go there. So it's kind of outside at the moment. We could put the heaters out in the lake, I guess. We could put the nuclear reactors, actually. Yeah, that could be a good one. We could put the nuclear reactors out in the lake. So we'd have coolant, so... Ah, right, well, we need one of those, but let's, let's not worry about that now. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, boy. Wow, that takes a lot of space up, doesn't it? Oh, my God. There we go. Let's 
good. Wow, okay, I'm going to need a lot of iron then. Uh, let's come over here and we'll just hydrate. Right, let's go over here and see if those osmium... See if we can see any osmium. Uh, I think the rubble's still here, isn't it? Is it? Yep, there we go. There's a little bit. There's a bit more. So it's going to despawn pretty quickly. And then let's go back to the base. That's where the definite impacts were. And then I think... Ooh, there's some iron there. Grab that as well if I see it. I think there's some impacted in the lake. So we'll just have a quick scout around the lake. See if we can get some of that. Anything? Yeah, there we go. Not a huge amount, but, you know... As a popular supermarket slogan in my country says, every little helps. So, uh, you know, that's all good. And then, yeah, let's just quickly go down. Let's just die in, but we'll have it anyway. Yeah, some impacts were here, but I'm not too sure. Ooh, is that? It's hard to tell between this and the... Um, the iron and everything else that's in the in the ocean bed it's it's hard to tell which one's cobalt and iron and stuff which one is osmium but I, yeah i think some landed in here but i have no idea where they are so i'm just gonna quickly grab these up yeah we got like three bits yeah that's fine it's not it's not the best in the world but hey ho it's it's three that we didn't have so go look on the bright side i guess right so let's get another one of these down. Uh, I think we'll get the machines down first, and then we can get the um, and then we can get the rockets sorted as well. Oh crap! My oxygen's really, really low, like really low. Okay. Oh, come back, oxygen. No, oh, get in there. Oof! There we go. Oof, 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 oof. Close. That was close. Get another one of those down, heaters down. I'll start helping out as well. And then we'll replace some of these drills as well. Yeah, I think my optimistic 18 GTI was a bit out bit out of uh, bit out of reach. I kind of figured it was though. I you know. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but hey. Try and get this back. There we go. Make a little heater platform. So, I guess we could put some stairs up to it, why not? There we are. Now a bunch of heaters, we'll kind of expand it that way as well. I think that's kind of cool. We can then move these ones as well. Uh, I like the one on the roof. We've got to do something with the roof as well, actually make a, make a bedroom as well. Maybe we'll do that next episode or something. Um, yeah, so much, so much still to do, damn. Um, yeah, we need to make some of those as well, don't we? Uh, yeah, hang on. I didn't actually go and look what the launch, what the launch criteria for the others. I would assume that the best one is probably going to be that it's sticking with the um, the oxygen because I fired like how many what, half a dozen rockets or something off now, and so that's got a really big buff. But at the same time, these ones just require cobalt and silicon, so they're dirt cheap. Hmm. Whereas that, you know, this one, and then this one especially requires a lot of complex materials. Whereas this just requires the motor. This, this, you know, it's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think the oxygen is probably the way to go, but the cheapskate in me wants to fire those off instead. Hmm. Let's have a look. Well, actually, the heat is at a million. No, it's not. It's a hundred thousand. Yeah, you see, look at the um, look at the score of the oxygen. It's at two point four million, whereas the heat is only a hundred thousand, and the pressure is eighty thousand, and the biomass is twenty four thousand. So, I would assume that multiplying the bigger number, which is the oxygen number, would be the way to go on that one. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to fire the cheap I'm going to be a cheapskate and fire the cobalt rocket off but I think uh, let me know what what do you guys think on that one I think probably firing the um 
Oh wow, look, that osmium is full. We need to put some of those drills down as well. Um, I think firing it off and multiplying, I mean, maybe multiplying all of them, but I think multiplying the oxygen one is probably the way to go because, as I say, now it's kind of a cumulative score, isn't it? And so just picking the larger one is probably the better one to go for. That, that would be my guess, but I don't know. But let's, fi let's fire this off anyway. Screw it. Get some uranium. Why not? Oh, there we are. There she goes. And then we'll let the uranium rain down because... And then I'll go around and pick it up but later on. Um, I haven't been to the uranium mine either, so uh, that's something else we need to do. How's the power looking? It's going to be all right, right? Yeah, 1500. We're doing fine. Okay, that's great. So, let's get all of these back in here for the moment. Yeah, that's impacting into the ground. Yeah, we'll just have to... I'll just write, you know... I'll just go around and collect everything once all the rocks have disappeared. I think that's the way to go. Perhaps just watch them. Oh, they're all impacted. That's probably the only place thing that I don't like with this area that I'm in. Is that a lot of them impact into the water and it's kind of hard to, you know, see where they impacted at times. But yeah, they're coming down anyway. Ooh, that one looks like it's on a direct collision course with me, doesn't it? This game of chicken. It's going for the new platform. That I, ooh, this one though. This one. Uh. Oh no, about the same place. Yeah, I'm going to let them rain down first. And then we'll kind of sort that out in a minute. Um, I think super alloy is probably what we're hurting on the most. Yes, it is. Okay. Shall we get some? Where are we? Uh, let's get those mushrooms. Yeah, shall we start sorting out this area? Because I do need some more storage now. So I think that's probably a good idea, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Let's get this cleared out like so and then we could start taking some of these down there we go yeah and we'll move this out of the way i think that's the next thing to do we haven't done any base building and then i wouldn't mind trying to fill some of those uh, where are we yeah i'm just going to stick with these ones for now i might upgrade to the tier twos later on but i think for now these are these work perfectly fine uh, but a few um, like, oh wow, yeah, okay. I'm going to get it in between the cubes there. I think a few of these tier twos, just in case there's like a, you know, there's something that you desperately need, you can kind of crank them out quickly. Um, plus you can, oh yeah, they, I was going to say, you can actually tell they are slightly different, that's cool. But yeah, the tier ones, I think just on mass, definitely the way to go, in my opinion. But, you know, obviously I'm not an expert, and hey, you do you. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, man. It's your game. Play it however you want. Uh, but yeah, let's get these down, and then we can, and then I can start working. I'll probably do that late. Um, I'll probably do that once I've edited this or something. I can then start working on getting. Um, just going to need these mushrooms for the plastic, and then we're going to want the squash for the tier two. Um, going to want squash now for the tier two. Uh, uh, the fertilizer. That's the word I'm looking for. Because the tier one, we possibly don't need these eggplants as much anymore. Obviously we do, but you know. Let's take all of those down, and then it's all right. It's raining in here. Okay, fair news. <laughs> Got a leak in my biodome. <laughs> there we are. Oh, we could have one. Okay, actually, could have one wall with tier ones. And while we're all with tier 2s, like the beans and stuff like that, you could just grow in these tier 1s because you don't really care about them as much. But yeah, maybe we could do something like that. I'm not sure. I do want to do the tier 2s, but it's just why not? But I think right now I'm just going all mass with tier 1s. It's just nice and cheap. I prefer to spend that super alloy and that on, and like the fertilizer, on say putting flower spreaders down or something and up in that score instead. I just think that's a better better use of them um, so I'm going to get squashed down because I want to start cranking out those, uh, we need to go and find that guy as well in the um, over there, there's somebody buried isn't there uh, in the wall 
Do I have any more squash seeds? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, I've got some more. Yeah, we'll start working on those next. Uh, is that something we are going to want? I do want to start working on those tree, tree spreaders because they're probably going to be the best thing for us. So, uh, you know, it's going to give us the biggest buff. Take these down. Put a mushroom in there. Why not get those going? I want some plastic as well. So, uh, yeah, I want to get that going. The beans, it's like, you know, I've, I'm okay for food. So I don't desperately need them. There we are. Might as well drink those. Right, eat that right now. And then, yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag as well. From the rain, that's all in here. There we go. And then we'll put that down as well. And also the crap ton of food growers that are probably in here are not helping frame rates either. <laughs> there we go. Get those down. And then, yeah, all this stuff's ready to pick as well. Uh, let's just oh, spin that around. I want the vents facing out. Like... So, I'll get those down. That might just be it, actually. And then I can work on a storage solution. I'll do that off camera. So I've got some extra storage. Ah, right. There we go. We've used up all of those. Might as well go with those now. Might as well pick all of these. Get those in there. Get those, oh, sorry, pick that one and then pick that one. And there we are. Do that and then we'll put, uh, I'll just put one bean in there. I don't want to not grow beans, but there we are. Right, that's great. So I've got a decent amount of, ooh, look, some grass growing up through the top. Got some decent amount. I think we'll move these somewhere else. I don't overly like where they are, so maybe we'll put them on the ends or something. Um, we'll put some storage or something here, I think. Um, get some of those lockers in here as well. Um, oh crap, I'm running out of water. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go and hydrate. There we go. Let's hydrate. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And uh, yeah, all of this uranium should have now disappeared. So I'm going to go around and collect up that. All the rocks should have disappeared at least. Uh, have they long disappeared? Uh, not quite yet. Yeah, they're still out here though. That's fine. Um, but right, anyway, I think this is where I'm going to call it, though. And I think I'll end the episode here. And I'm just going to go around and just try and collect up as much of this uranium as we can. Uh, might as well. It's dark and it's glowing and it's it's fairly easy to get hold of. Oh, bollocks, I'm full. Okay. All right. But uh, as I say, I think for now, this is where I'm going to call it and I'm going to end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.